Hey everybody, this is Shane Floyd and Tara Pawlowski here at Black Hawk. Uh, we've been working on a few short videos to help our clients use Razor Edge NXT more effectively. And in this video, we wanted to show you real quickly how to integrate with your Outlook or Gmail. We're going to focus on Outlook today and um, see so yeah, how that can save you some time and make your work more efficient throughout the day. So, Tara, um, take it away. Thank you. All right. Of course. So right now I'm in Razor's Edge NXT and I am currently under the control panel and applications. So keep in mind if you go looking for the control panel and you don't have that option, it's probably just a security setting. So whoever can get this set up for you. But just so you know where it is, I can go to applications and these are all the plugins that we can connect with Razor's Edge NXT. Now you'll see Blackbot Outlook. Mine is already active, but you'll see a button similar to the above of connect and you'll set up that connection with Outlook. Now, once that connection is made, notice I have my email here. You will see a Blackbot icon in your toolbar of every email. So let's say I'm sending an email out to Tara Pulowski, then I can select after I have that thread, after I have that content that I need. So think of it as a best practice. You're not having to save every individual email, but you're saving that thread once you have a bulk of that discussion that you want to be able to put into the system. So when I select that Blackboard icon, Outlook is actually syncing up with Razor's Edge NXT. So you see that it's pulling up my record. It recognizes me and I can put in whatever specifics as far as uh, keeping track of the action type or putting in that summary of how I want to acknowledge the actual email itself. It's going to save that content. So I'm going to go ahead, save that information back into Razor's Edge. It will let me know once it has successfully sentence over. Then as I pop back into my web view, I'll refresh my record and you'll see that a new action will be in place and have all of the context of that email. All right. Now, if I want to be able to add something to my calendar. Maybe I have a follow-up meeting after this really successful one. When I go to add actions, I'm able to add those to my Outlook calendar. Now, know when you initially set this up, you get to choose your calendar preference, and I just have it defaulted for Outlook 365. So once that's set up, every action moving forward, it's just a checkbox, and it'll send it on over to Outlook. Awesome. Thank you, Tara. You got it. Hopefully this has been helpful.